how did you get to tech in the first place? I'm deciding which story to tell, but my aunt and uncle were both engineers. My uncle was actually the main engineer on VisiCalc, which was the predecessor to Lotus 123. So he was like yeah, that's the first relevant. developer building the modern spreadsheet. And I think that really influenced me growing up. But I think from a very young age, like I have this funny memory of myself in summer camp and my bunk mates were guessing what I wanted to be when I grow up. And I wrote on a piece of paper that I wanted to be a computer tycoon. I think I was eight <laughs> years old, didn't even know really what computer tycoon meant, but that all came from my aunt and uncle. Uh, my parents put me in like a sporty summer camp, which I loved. Uh, and then I dropped out of sporty summer camp to go to an educational program by choice. I asked my parents to put me in it. So one summer I did something with computers. Another summer I went to math camp. Uh, huh. Yeah, I just liked it. Got it. More, more math than tech. I loved math, started my own math publication in high school called Prime. And that was really my pure interests. So everyone wants to get into venture. Was that always a part of the eight-year-old tycoon plan? No. Or yeah, how did that happen? I think you get hit over the head by the venture industry by being at Stanford. It really does bleed and venture capital is a big part of Silicon Valley. Of course, there's a big startup ecosystem as well, but I got a lot more exposure at Stanford. It wasn't like it was my North Star. I needed to get into venture at all, but it felt like it matched a lot of my interests, which is I like business. I like technology. I like thinking about product and you can do that at a, a venture firm and paint the think about problem spaces that, that interested me. So it, it ended up being a pretty natural evolution once I got into Catalyst to go work in venture. What, what did you not like about it? At the end of the day, venture is just sales. So it's not about like finding the cool company first. Uh, it's super competitive and a lot of my job at times could be like different processes in the sales cycle. Like SDR, outbounding, cold outreach, trying to figure out how to be helpful. Like those are real things. It's sales. You're selling yourself, your brand. Um, and that can be a lot of hard work. Uh, and especially in an industry that's competitive, like you're not going to win all the deals you want to win. So it's not about being right or being early all the times. It's about selling. Hey, everyone. Just dropping in to let you know that the annual Analytics Engineering Conference, Coalesce, is back. We had the first Coalesce last year in December, and it was fantastic. We had 3,000 registrants, tons of presentations, and this year is going to be even bigger. Register for free at coalesce.getdbt.com. If there is a renaissance happening in data now, like why didn't it happen 10 years ago? We didn't have cloud. I mean, the all the big successful cloud data warehouses came out in like 20. 11 through 2013, when we introduced Redshift, BigQuery, Databricks, Snowflake came a little bit after. Like That was the shift that's going to change the entire industry. And we're now mature enough where people aren't afraid to build on cloud. So you have not just the early adopters, but even the laggards on cloud data warehouses and being able to process and store your data more cheaply just creates a bigger supply for the types of things you want to do with data. And I think we're in that moment right now where we're no longer fighting. Should we move to cloud? The answer is yes. So now the opportunity is way bigger for what you can build on top of cloud data warehouses. I think we're, we, we've standardized around the big players in cloud at this point and all the opportunities downstream, like what you can build on mm. top of cloud and just completely reimagining the workflows once you've standardized on one of those big cloud data warehouses. And I think we'll have some movement in who gains market share for the players that already exist. Mm. But I think it will be very hard for there to be a seventh or an eighth or a ninth platform in cloud data warehouses.